Hello, Bob. Uh, uh, this is your distributor of your 220. We're going to start our test on it. We've got our parameters laid out, what we want to look for, and what we can see if we can't write down our actual numbers. And here's what the, dist the distributor test machine looks like. We're going to be checking our well and our distributor RPM. And see, now, right now we've got to calibrate the unit. We're getting warmed up. So let's get this over to the set line. Alright, switch over to six cylinder. And now it's time to get our starting. I need to turn some lights off so we can see the flashes effectively. So now we've got to set our zero our Dial. Right. Now, first thing I noticed was that where your uh, the points were um, set too uh, far uh, apart. The point gap was, was too great, but uh, we can work with it for the time being. Um, now, what we're checking for is uniform flashes at uh, 60 degree increments. Plus or minus a degree, obviously, we can't have, we're not going to have everything perfect with uh, the distributor, but. Looks good, okay. We've got our starting RPM. Now, what we're looking for is uh, back in mechanical advance, 10 degrees at 1,000 RPM. Let's see what we get. We're gonna, here's our RPM up here. Uh, 1,000 distributor RPM is 2,000 engine RPM. Here's our 1,000. And what we've got here is 15, 14 degrees of advance. Fourteen degrees of advance. Uh, that is. That's too much advance, that means we got some weak distributors, uh, advanced springs in there, and then we want 16 degrees advance at 2400 RPM. So let's see what we got here. 2400 is, uh, is awfully fast. That's, that's 4800 RPM on the tack. Uh, let's just do. I think we got full advance at about 3,030, 3,250, that's good enough. And we're about 17 degrees, so that's not bad. Um, let's write this down. And 15 and 17. Let's check our dwell while we're here. Our dwell is... about 16 degrees well and it should be up around 36 so a huge difference in terms of um, what the, where the point should be set so our actual was what did I say I said about uh, six cylinders up here eight, 18 degrees of dwell all right now, yeah, see if we can operate the vacuum advance, see what happens there. See what the vacuum advance does. Well, yeah. trying to get this back to zero. There we go. We got a, see that big jump right there? It's not a smooth transition, it just jumps. Alright, let's see what happens when we apply the back into it. It's five degrees.
it's going to be about 8 degrees, that's not too bad, vacuum advance, vacuum advance appears to be working, so write that down, 8 degrees, not too bad, okay, so those are our figures, Run it again just one more time. We're going to be zeroed here. Let's see what we'll do is we'll watch it. Instead of watching the RPM, we will watch the uh, distributor flashes. I'm not really terribly impressed with the distributor. Uh, it could do better. It's um, I think it's got weak distributor springs internally, so I don't know how much of it was really rebuilt. But uh, I think it can, we can do better. Um, but it'll it'll make the the car function. I'm not just uh, not quite sure how your, your acceleration would be. You'd you'd be going to full advance almost immediately off the line and wouldn't have any. Uh, gradual advance uh, going into the um, into the RPM range. Anyway, I'll get this posted uh, to YouTube and so you can see it for yourself.